happy about cricket? What do you, are you very good at it, like that? Yes. Brilliant. Okay, thank you so much for sharing with me what you love in sport. I love riding. And when I was young, I used to love mountain climbing, you know, with ropes, ice axes, climbing up. I used to really love that. Now I'm a bit old and it's a bit hard work. But like Magdalena, I love walking now. I love walking. That's a lovely thing to do. Okay, today we're going to talk about another thing I love. I love books. And today maybe we'll talk about why we might love books. I'll tell you how I love books. But we'll do some activities and then we will talk, okay? So the first activity I've handed out for you is a sheet, okay? And on the sheet is a, what do you call this? Yes? It's a book, very good. It is a picture of a book. And underneath here, there are some words. One of them says cover illustration. One of them says title, blurb, level, front cover, author. Now, I want you to try and work together, helping each other, because it's really good to work together because it's not one brain, it's two. two. And two brains are better than one, okay? So I like you to work in pairs, or in the case over here, maybe in a group of three, okay? So what I would like you to do is with your nice pencil, I would like you to see if you can decide which of these words go in which of these blanks, okay? I'm gonna give you a very, very short time to do it, Okay? okay? It doesn't matter that it's, it's, it's going to take, you know, you might not have finished. Off you go. One minute or so. One, two, three, go. Well done. Okay? Try and work together. Try and work, help each other. And you can talk in a tablet if you want. Okay? If you're not sure. Okay? But help each other. Talk together, okay? Can you talk together? Help each other? Sit in. Can you help each other? Put in. I think that means it. Put in. Ah, no, 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 no. Who's that? Pasha, are you okay? Can I help? Also, your dad. Hello. Questo è un libro, vero? It's a book. Okay. On the front. very good technique called crossing it out because if you don't you don't remember they're very good Oh, look, it's the motion. Look. Here's the... 
Think about it. Okay, how do you do it? Okay, very good. Very good. You're almost there. What do you think this is? It's the person who wrote the book, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Well, the big name for that is. Yeah. Well done. Okay, I won't make you do it right to the end because we have to try and work quickly because we have so much to do. Okay? So. We decided this was a book, which is right. So what do we call this whole thing? All together. Do we know does it have a special name? Many of you have done it. Can you raise your hand if you think you know the answer? What's all this, this first one? Has anyone got the answer? Front cover. It's the front cover. Very good. It's the front cover. What's on the back of the book? The back cover. I don't have an example of it here, but this is the front cover, and the back of the book is the back cover. Very good. What is this? How about this table? Yes. It's the title. It's the title of the book, the name of the book. Okay? It's what the writer called the book. Okay? Excellent. What about this one here? Excellent. The author. Very, very good. It's the author. Yes. Cover illustration. And this is the cover illustration. It's the drawing of, of the cover. Okay? They get famous artists to make this. Yes? The level. The level. That's very good. Now that is going to tell us a clue about what we're, what we're doing. Okay, so we've got the whole front cover of the book, the title, the author, the cover illustration, and the level. It tells us a lot about the books, because there's the words and there's the picture. This book is very interesting. Look at the picture carefully. Look at it. The title of the book is called A Little Princess. princess. What is a princess? And so she's somebody who usually has a lot of money, who lives in a very big house. Huge house, right? Like, like this house. Maybe. Yes, it's a pretty big house here too, but I think it's even bigger. It might even be a castle. castle. Brilliant. It might be a castle, right? That's a very exciting place. And she sometimes wears a crown crown on her head and she'll wear a beautiful dress. Beautiful dress, brilliant. You're so good. You're so much vocabulary. You're brilliant. Well done. She'll wear a beautiful dress. Okay? And it might be a beautiful dress all the way down to the floor. To the floor. Exactly. But this little girl. What is she wearing? What does she look like? What does she look like? Does she look as if she's rich? No. 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 Does she look as if she has beautiful clothes? No. Does she look as if she's happy? No. What is she doing? What is she doing? Okay. She's sad. She's sad. That's right. Yes. Where's your name? Your name, Francesca. Thank you. Sophia, what do you think? Do you think she is happy or is she sad? Sad. Why do you think she's sad? 
because uh, she she doesn't uh, she's not um, uh, do you think she's warm or do you think she's cold? She's uh, cold. She's cold. Do you think she has many servants, many helpers? No. To, do, what, what is she doing here? She's, she's working, isn't she? Do princesses normally work? No, no. They usually just sit around looking beautiful, don't they? Okay, so this is an example of how they want you to look inside the book because they want you to find out why someone called a princess is outside in the snow. Outside in the snow, in the cold, working very hard with ugly, old, gray, no pretty colors. Look at this lovely pink a princess would have a pink dress, wouldn't she? She might do, might not she? Okay, so it's asking you to think, why is this princess so sad? And you have to open the book to find out, okay? Right, we're going to do another activity now. I'm going to ask you to look at book covers with no title on them, okay? So I'm gonna hand out another sheet. One, two. Keep that, that's for you. Yeah, another one for you. And another one for you. No, no, you can keep it in too. Oh, right, so generous. Okay, one for you, one for you. only because there's no title. You've got to help now and see if you can find the right title for the right book illustration. Do you all understand? Yes? Everyone understands? Yes. Okay. So, again, I'd like you to work in pairs together. Okay? And again, I'm going to give you a short time in which to do it, okay? Thank you very much. I'll come around and see how you get on.
Right. Oh, gosh. You're so fast. How are you doing? Almost there? Well done. Okay. I think, I think very soon you're going to become writers and illustrators and book writers, authors yourselves. Okay. So, what, what temple goes with this oh, illustration? Oh, Everyone thinks oceans. That's a very easy one, isn't it? Very, very easy. Do you know what this animal is called? It's called jellyfish. A jellyfish. Jelly is something that goes wibble 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 And a jellyfish goes wibble 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 Has anybody swum in the sea and been stung by a jellyfish? You have. Have any of you? Yes. Yes? Or my friend did it was messed up. It hurt, didn't it? Yes. There are some jellyfish that can kill you. You have to be very careful. The, the uh, electric um, um, jellyfish and the, um, was the, and the other ones when the Stung you is um like a Portuguese man of war. That's one yeah. that has the big fat sail on the top. Yes. They're scary, aren't they? And they can sting you even out of the sea because sometimes they're on the beach and you're walking along. And you step on it. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's an easy one. Was this one so easy? Brilliant! You clever boy, Francesco. Tell me why you thought this was the sport of kings. Do you know? No. Okay. Does anyone know why it's called... Horse racing is called the sport of kings? Tell me. Because not only kings go on horses. Yes, because they have lots of money. And they spend money on beautiful horses go racing. These ones are race horses. Horses that run in races. Okay, this is another one very easy. Dinosaurs. Sure. Dinosaurs, okay. Is it the T-Rex? That's T-Rex. Who likes dinosaurs here? I love dinosaurs. I love their huge teeth. And their giant what's that called? Claws. Brilliant. Their giant claws and their huge feet. Feet. I love all those things. Okay? Right. This is another really easy one, this middle one. Chocolate. How many favorite people how many people love chocolate best? Yay! Right, great. Okay. So we've done these first three and now we have these two left. Okay, you've all been very good here. I want to hear a little bit more from the back. Who knows what this one is? The wrong trousers. I asked them to the back. You're right. It's the wrong trousers. Do you know this character? Wallace and Gromit. Wallace and Gromit, yes. They're very nice, aren't they? And this one is? Yes. The Wizard of Oz. And do you remember what this is? The Girl of the Street. Very close, the yellow brick road. Do you remember? Have you ever seen the film? Follow the yes. yellow brick road. Yes. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow the follow the follow the follow the, follow the yellow brick road. Sorry about the singing. Okay. And so we've done them all. Well done. Very, very good work. Excellent. So we've done that. And now we have one last activity for this first film we're doing. Just one more. Are you tired? Are you tired? No. No? no. You're sure? Can you do one more thing for me? Yes. 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 yes.
Okay, so what I'm going to hand out is a sheet of paper. I'm going to explain first and then I'm going to hand out the paper. Okay, you're going to get, can you watch? Eduardo, everyone, watch. Look at me, okay? Right, this is a blank piece of paper. And on the top it says, create the cover of the book you want to write. Okay? So you have to imagine in your head the book you would like to write. The kind of books I write are like this. Here is my book. I write books for a living. And usually my books are about this. My books are called How to Teach Reading. And they're books for teachers. And I tell them what they have to do. So my picture on my book might be this. That might be the picture on my book. Or I write books like this, which is how to teach writing. What kind of picture might I put for my book there? How to teach writing. A pen. I think that's a good idea. So I might do... There's my pen, that's ink, because it's splashed out of my pen. I need something else in this picture. What do I need? I need a piece of paper. Paper. So I might draw a piece of paper like that. Yes. And a rubber. Good idea. I need a rubber too to get rid of, to get rid of, when you rub something up, you've made a m m mess, miss, miss, mistake. You've made a mistake, so there's my rubber for the mistakes. I might need a pencil too, mightn't I? So I might have a pencil here. There's my pencil. Okay? Yes? Is the pencil a pencil sharpener? A pe there are an awful lot of things in this picture now, aren't there? There's my pencil shop. Not a very good drawing. Okay, that is what you're going to do. But you're not going to write boring books about how to read, are you? What kind of book would you like to write? Would you like to write a book about football? About basket? Would you like to write a book about romance? A book about princesses? A book about pirates. A book about... What might you like to write a book about? Mm. Fantastic uh, stories. Fantasy. Fantasy. I love those kinds of books too. Right. What kind of book would you like to write? A book about food, maybe. A book about chocolate. <laughs> a book about... Pizza! A book about... What would you like to write about? Well, you don't have to tell me now. You're going to have a few minutes now to decide and design the cover of your book. Okay? And we'll do that for a few minutes and then you can have a rest because it will be the end of the lesson. Okay? Right. So... Here is the cover of your book. Ready? Thank you. You're welcome. Yes? Are we going to do it with the pen? What do you think? I'd say colourful. Colourful. Yeah, because if we write a book, what do we want people to do? Buy it! So we become rich. 
So, color is good. Color is good. I agree. Well done. So I expect you to see some very exciting pictures here. Okay? Eduardo. Eduardo, you have done the flying car. That's a wonderful idea. That's a wonderful story. Who is the author? And is um, Eduardo Baffini. So you have to write your name, don't you? And then you can color it in. Okay? And then you can start thinking about the story. And you've done a little princess, because that's what you are, isn't it, Serena? You look like a little princess. Well done. Well done. Will you draw a beautiful picture now of a princess? Will you draw a picture? I am busy and don't have any space at the moment. Okay. Big girl. Arcobaleno. Un arcobaleno, correct. What's an arcobaleno? Rainbow. Rainbow. A rainbow. Yes. A rainbow. A rainbow. It's a beautiful thing, a rainbow, isn't it? Maybe today. Maybe today we might have a rainbow after the rain. Okay. Oh, I love this. Can I see this? This story is called The Wizard of Calimera. Ooh, that sounds an exciting story. And there is boom! What's that called? Lightning. lightning. lightning ground. And what do you hear when the lightning comes? <laughs> thunder. You hear the thunder. Okay? That's wonderful. I like this castle here. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And you've got your name. Well done. Excellent. May I see your... Okay, and here we have the magic apple. So, Francesco, what happens when I eat the magic apple? Uh, you speak a one... Uh, a one... Uh, You're allowed one wish. One wish. That's quite dangerous, isn't it? That's wonderful. And there are many apples on the tree. Yes. That's great. Don't forget, who's writing this book? It's you. Don't forget to put your, yes. the author's name. Yes. Francesco. Well done. Another Francesco. Oh, I love this. This is called The Fantasy. The Fantasy. So this is an imaginary story. And I see there's a flying horse. And there is a wonderful sun with dark glasses. And there is a moon, all dressed up. And there's a bird that says, meow, meow. I love that. And a smiling, this is a very imaginative. Well done, Francesca. Don't forget your name because you're the author. OK, you're the author. Well done. Oh, this is lovely. Can I see? Excellent. This is the color. And this is clever too because rainbows have many colors. Many colors. And that's a lovely. And flowers and birds and the blue sky. That's lovely. Well done. Don't forget your name because you're the author. Okay. <laughs> okay. This is a wonderful one too. Gymnastics is fun. Do you think gymnastics are fun? Do you like gymnastics? Yeah. Are you good at it? That's great. And you've got your name. Brilliant. And here is someone doing, what do we call that when you stand like that? It's called a headstand because you're standing on your head. When I was younger, I could do it. I can't do it anymore. That's lovely. And here is a balance beam, isn't it? Well done. Excellent. Right, Francesca, can I see what you've done? <gasps> Dance. Do you do ballet? Hmm? Do you do ballet? Do you know? Yes. 
We do ballet. Let's dance. Well done. Excellent. These are ballet shoes. Well done. And those are the ribbons. Can you tie them round your legs with? That's lovely. That's really nice. I love the colours. Excellent. And Pasha, you've done an excellent job here identifying these. Well done. This is really, really good work. Shall we find something else? This one with the horse. It's, it's, there's a lot of words. It's the sport of kings. Maybe you put it on two lines, okay? Well done. Excellent. Very good work. Thank you. Now, what we're going to do is, if you could start for one minute now, everybody, everybody, please start for one minute. <laughs> Stop for one minute, okay? We can go on doing this later, but what you could do is you can also take it home and finish it for homework and then bring it back tomorrow for the next lesson and we can talk more about your books. Did I talk to you girls? Did I forget you? Did I talk to you? Did I see your books? Um, no, I didn't. I'm so sorry. How terrible that was. So rude of me. Okay, forgive me. I got distracted. This is the cookbook. And I beg your recipes. What is your favorite recipe in here? What will you put? What, what will you like to cook? Something with chocolate? Something with pasta? Something with chicken? So it would be all chocolate recipes. That's a good idea. Excellent. It's a beautiful cake. Can I see yours, please? Excellent. Look, the story of stick. That's a wonderful idea. Here, do you see there's a stick man? And it says, this is my story. This is excellent. Well done. Now, please remember, you're the author. You're the author. You're the author, so you must put your name. You must put your name because you wrote the book. Okay? You put the egg one. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to have a pause. We're going to stop because it's the end of the lesson. But you can go on drawing afterwards. But I think now you should go and have a little break in the garden just for some fresh air. Okay? And then later we can do more drawing. Okay? Thank you very much.